We're gonna break this video into four parts. We'll first go over why I think you should go with Ghost as your blogging platform. Secondly, we'll move on to the hosting solutions and why I think you should go with DigitalOcean as your hosting solution. Then we will set up your DigitalOcean account and your droplet. And finally, we're gonna point your domain to DigitalOcean so you can get started blogging right away. All right, so here's why you should pick Ghost as your blogging platform. First, it's important to note that Ghost is focused exclusively on blogging and nothing else. This means it's nowhere near as flexible as WordPress, but it also means it's a lot more faster, easier, and more elegant. Because Ghost is not concerned to cater to every possible website type, it's a lot more easier to work with because there simply aren't that many options. This means you won't have a thousand themes to choose from and you won't have tens of thousands of plugins available. Its only purpose is to be a blogging platform and it does that extremely well. So here's the deal, do you wanna do anything other than blogging? Then WordPress is probably the way to go for you. Do you know that blogging is all that you want to do? Then I'd go with Ghost. All right, hosting solutions. There are plenty of options out there, but it comes down to two different types of hosting. You can have a managed hosting solution or you can have a self-hosting solution. You can also completely self-host your Ghost blog on a private server that you own, but that's out of the scope of the city. If money is not an issue and you're completely okay with paying $400 a year for a managed hosting solution, then I truly believe Ghost Pro is the way to go for you. Ghost Pro handles everything from setup to updates and they'll even add you to their Cloudflare Enterprise CDN. They'll also have other perks such as having an actually wonderful customer support. So if money is not an issue for you, I really, really think you can't beat Ghost Pro. However, for as low as $5 a month, you can get something like DigitalOcean, which in my opinion is a much better option if you're just starting out and money definitely is an issue and you don't have $400 to just blow on Ghost Pro for a year subscription. A lot of people opt for the Ghost Pro option, not because they believe that the perks are worth it, but because they're afraid they won't have the technical capabilities to have a self-hosted option. But I can assure you that anyone can do it. It's not as easy as a one-click install, but it's not something you need to learn coding for. Bear in mind that in the future, if you want to migrate into Ghost Pro from DigitalOcean or elsewhere, it's a very simple process and you can do it very easily. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to set up everything on DigitalOcean. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come here to marketplace.digitalocean.com and in your search bar, you're gonna search for Ghost. Then you come over here and you create Ghost Droplet. And I'm actually gonna go through the whole process with you. So I bought a new domain and I'm actually gonna pay to create a new droplet just so I can do it all on camera in front of you. So after that, you're gonna get this page and you're gonna choose basic. You're gonna choose one of these plans. The $5 a month plan is fine for 99% of people. In the future, if you need to, you can just upgrade your plan. I'm gonna scroll down. Here, you're gonna choose a data center region. And in here, you're just gonna to wanna to choose whatever is closest to you. So for me, it is London. We're gonna leave all of this as default, and then you're gonna come over here and create a password. A side note, make sure you remember this password or save it somewhere safe, because DigitalOcean is not gonna email you this password and you're gonna need it for a future step in this video. Now we're gonna create a host name. For me, it's just my name, at ghostblog. And we're gonna come over here and click Create Droplet. All right, and now you should have your IP visible here. To make sure everything went smoothly, simply copy your IP address and paste it on your search bar, and you should see a screen like this. All right, so now go back to your DigitalOcean, click your droplet, and click Add a Domain. Insert your domain here, and then go ahead and click Add Domain. Now we're gonna point our domain to our droplet at DigitalOcean. My domain registrar is Namecheap, I highly recommend it, but you can use any other registrar like GoDaddy. And even if you don't use Namecheap, this process is relatively the same across all registrars. So for my case, I use Namecheap, so I'm gonna go over here to my Namecheap panel, and I'm gonna go over to my account, the dashboard, and I should see my domains listed here. So now I'm gonna go to my desired domain, hit manage, and I'm gonna go over to advanced DNS. Alright, so we're going to add two records. First one is an A record. Here you can press at, and here you're going to put your IP address from your droplet. 
and under TTL, you're gonna want the lowest amount possible. So if your registrar allows one minute, put it one minute. First one's done. The second is a C name record. Host is www. And here you're gonna input your domain name. And the same goes for TTL, one minute. If you've done everything correctly, simply type your domain name into the browser search bar. And if it all went well, you should now see this here. This means the domain name is successfully pointed at your IP address at DigitalOcean. All right, so we're almost done here. Uh, we're gonna click quick start guide and we just need to follow along the instructions here. And this will mean that we need to access our terminal if you're on a Mac or something similar if you're on a Windows computer. But the process is the same regardless of your operating system. So because I have a Mac, I'm gonna open up my terminal. Okay, so just follow along with me here. We're gonna go SSH space root at and now we're going to input our IP address it's going to ask me if I'm sure I want to continue connecting so I'll just compress yes and now it asks me the password as you can remember earlier on in this video we set up an SSH password that I said it was important to remember for a later step and this is it right here so we're going to input our passwords okay so now we're just going to wait here until it's done All right, so as you can see here, it's telling us to press enter when we're ready. Enter. So it's downloading and installing Ghost on the latest version. I'm just gonna give it a little moment here. All right, I sped this up so you wouldn't have to wait, but it took around a minute, minute and a half. So it's asking us now for our blog URL. Just enter it. And now an email, this is just for the SSL certificate. So just enter your email here. I'm gonna enter mine. All right, so it's starting Ghost already. All right, it looks like we've installed Ghost successfully. All right, so now if we go to our domain name, as you can see, Ghost is set up perfectly. So one last step before this is over, uh, you need to come here to your browser and type in forward slash Ghost. And you need to set this up as soon as possible to guarantee the safety of your admin account. So we're gonna create our account here. Okay, if you're not gonna invite anyone else, just press I'll do this later, take me to my site. And that's it, you're already on the back end of your website. And what you're seeing here is the default theme for Ghost, which is called the Casper theme. And you can change it here under design. And there's a bunch of themes that you can get either free or premium. And one last thing that I always like to do at every chance that I get is to put everything that I can on dark mode. So we're gonna come here to labs, enable night shift, and that's it. Everything is on dark mode. That's it, so you're all set. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Um, do let me know in the comment sections if you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them. I've also made a written guide of everything that I said here. It's on my website, I'm gonna link it down below. So feel free to check that out if you want to. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.